Hello everyone in the sense and Duck 2 and welcome to another Fabric Mod overview, this time on Beta F3. A mod that replaces the original debug screen, I think it was originally in that case, rather than the debug menu, which is something else, and uh, makes it more customizable, human readable, and more. So, what it actually does out of the box is it changes the colors of each module, position of each module, adds or deletes modules, as well as adding spacing between them, individual lines of a module, or disabling the whole module is considered, adding a shadow effect to text, changing the color of the background behind all lines, and animations for opening and closing are possible. So yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like. We just go in, so we've got an existing here, you can see it'll just sort of slide in, I can't see everything, of course, so I'm probably going to want to change my GUI scale to maybe 1, for example. That is not readable, for me at least. Let's see, there we go, that'll, be that'll better showcase it. So we've got our typical of, we're in a modded instance here. You can see our FPS, you can see in that what it can meet with VSync, I assume. So now in the, it also changes color in that when the, within the 60 range, I assume. Um, let's see, we've got render distance, we've got graphics, and we've got other stuff that we've obviously been able to change in video settings, now displayed here. Um, we've got the internal server and what the tick rate is. We've got the packet sent and received, our coordinates and such. A bunch of other bits and pieces for the amount of days, local difficulty, biome, highest block, light level, light level of the server dimension we're currently in, spawn chunks, and more. So if we run around, will these spawn chunks part change? Probably not. So we've got loaded chunks as well. I don't know what I'm missing here, sprinting. Um, let's see. Otherwise, pending chunks, which we can see there. Chunk culling. Chunk sections that are rendered, and obviously a bunch of other bits and pieces like sounds that will play, and um, creatures, entities, particles, and more. And then on the right side, we can see our graphics card information, OpenGL version, GPU driver, uh, the amount of memory that we have allocated, how many CPU cores, and what display we currently have. Along with if we look at mobs and shoe. Nope, so just anything in that general direction, as long as it's in your uh, render distance, I assume. So we can see grass, we can see the fluid ID, so if they're waterlogged or not, um, or if it's, a, if it's water source, or flowing, I guess. We can see the grass here, can we see the pig? No, just grass blocks. Interesting. So it doesn't sh detect mobs in this case on the right side, maybe. Um. So yeah, pretty much just any blocks and other such stuff in the world. It's not going to detect item entities, though. I don't think. No. Okay. Will item entities? No. Okay. Grass block versus grass. Okay. Weird. Maybe. Alright, so we go to actual fluids, such as water, we can see that it's water, we go to fish, we do don't have anything changing maybe, not sure, we've got seagrass, it's not falling, it was a detective sand and gravel is falling of course and so on, but yeah. Otherwise, sort of just a better way of reading what you obviously could before, probably certain other additional information that is useful, and uh, yeah, slides back out like so. Um, if we just change the GUI size again, we can check mod menu and see if there's anything we can change there. So we can change the actual left and right modules, so you can present where you want them, stacking upon each other on that side of the column, we can add additional modules, or edit them I guess. So if we add a new one, we can see module name is now just that, so I assume that's just naming it. 
Okay, yeah, so that's naming it. It's not just like spectator. Oh, okay, that's the game mode. So you've got a bunch of different options here, uh, which I assume many of these have already been presented. So we've got sounds, entities, help, spectator, miscellaneous, which is obviously our new one, I assume. Uh, actually, no, that one was saved, so we have no point. Uh, so yeah, I think everything's there. You can go edit, which we can change the color. We can enable or disable the module. Um, so name or value colors, which we saw before. You've obviously got your values, I assume, in like white or yellow or orange or some others, and you've got your main name for it on the other side. And if we go back in, we can see what else. Upon delete, if I just go to a random one, we'll just say, uh, I don't know, that one. Yes, that'll be under here. We delete, it'll immediately delete it. And then the scroll bar will eventually catch up. We've got general settings for the mod. So it disables the mod and we'll display the newer one. Space modules, so if you want more space, I guess, between modules, or spacing, I guess, just that it can apply, compared to what it does. We've got shadow text, so making all characters have a shadow effect, which will turn off. Enabling animations, such as the transition between it flowing in and flowing out. The animation's speed, which we'll just change to say like 10, I assume, no? So 1.0 is the highest, maybe, I assume. Maximum is 3, sorry. We'll go three to what that is. And then we've got background color if we want to change that. And then we've got right modules, which is those. And for any other options, you've got basically the same as what's on the left. So if you want to add additional ones to the right, or you maybe just want to read them on the right compared to the left, you can. Um, and customize it however you want. If we go to F3 here, it'll just slide them in really quick compared to before. I've got no shadow effect, as you can see. And uh, yeah. So if we actually check spacing real quick, uh, let's see, we'll enable that, we'll apply the shadow effect, enabling the same thing animation is pretty simple. We'll go to, I guess, 0 0.1, it's too small, so 1.0 is the minimum. All right, back in color, we can change whatever we want. Um, I don't know, I'll just put a random number. I guess I'm not good at doing those. Let's see, this we do maybe, and then enabling the animation or not. So it's like normal. Now we'll do that. We'll actually change it with the spacing or not. Let's see if it actually changes. Anything. So maybe it's slightly noticeable. Maybe not. Um. Let's see. We'll try again. Oh, sorry, actually, did I do it correctly? Maybe just slight, maybe something else. Maybe it's when I move it in and out. I don't know. But yeah. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.